Hello Python programmers, this is Aki. In this video, I'm going to touch some technical points about machine learning. So it's been a long time since we spoke about the machine learning. So it's a time for me to speak about some technical steps about machine learning. So definitely this video will help you to understand how to deal the accuracy in machine learning. There are a lot of keywords in machine learning to speak, but accuracy is one of the essential thing in machine learning to kickstart the conversation. Why accuracy matrix is very important means Increasing the accuracy of machine learning model will create a big impact in end implementations. That's why many data scientists and machine learning engineers are providing more importance to increasing the accuracy of a machine learning model. So what will happen if they increase the accuracy of machine learning model? The first change will be your outcomes. Suppose if you are implementing any machine learning algorithms in automobile industry, absolutely the accuracy will be a very important role in automobile industry. Why I'm saying this means nowadays all the automobile industries are moving towards the self-driving cars. I'm considering the self-driving cars are too much rely on machine learning accuracy. Because in the concept of self-driving cars, the people are giving money that is based on the accuracy of each brand. If the car's accuracy is good, then only people will buy that car. Otherwise, they don't risk their life on self-driving cars. So this is where the accuracy plays a vital role. And the people's thought is also like that. They want safety and accuracy of doing that particular job. These two are very important for every end user. I think this example cleared your thoughts about accuracy in machine learning. Let's go to the content of how to increase the accuracy of machine learning model. So before we start this video, do like, share, comment and subscribe. These things will help you to produce more new contents in Python and data science. Let's get started. The first point is adding more data. Adding more data gives you more good and reliable results in the end implementations. By giving more variety of data to machine learning algorithms, like you are adding more knowledge to the machine learning model. So it will get trained with some various data circumstances and it makes the model to do some comparisons before giving an answer. By adding more data, it will avoid to make some biased decisions. And that means it takes super accurate decisions when it is deployed into the server or software. Suppose you have limited number of data and you train your model with that data means you cannot expect a good results. At the end of training, in testing phase, your model will give you less accuracy and maybe you will get the results which are completely irrelevant to your expected results. So this is what a data plays a major role and more data you add, more accuracy you will get. This is the tagline in machine learning. Okay. And second one is a feature selection. Feature selection part is very important in machine learning. So in this part, you need to select the features that will create impact on your end results. Adding more data is a good, but in the data, you have to select the features which will give less variance in your predictive model. If your variance estimation is high, then you have to drop some features from the training part. By reducing the non-impacted features in your data matrix, it will help you to reduce the variance and it is more advisable step to drop some unwanted features from your data set. And one more thing, if you select more relevant features and feed them into your model, you can avoid the overfitting results also. So in this step, I will give you some two important methods to follow while selecting the features. The first one is the feature importance. Some algorithms like random forest or XGBoost allow you to determine which features were the most important in predicting the target variable's value. By quickly creating one of these models and conducting the feature importance, you will get an understanding of which variables are more useful than others. Okay. And second one is the dimensionality reduction. One of the most common dimensionality reduction technique is the PCA. PCA means principal component analysis. It takes larger number of features and uses linear algebra techniques to reduce them into a fewer features. And third point is hyperparameter tuning. Training a machine learning model is a skill that will come if you practice more in problem solving. And sometimes these above techniques are not enough to improve the accuracy of your model. So in the field of machine learning, there are a lot of techniques you have to follow to increase the accuracy of the machine learning model. You can't able to stick with a particular technique to improve the accuracy of machine learning model. One of the best way to increase the accuracy of machine learning model is by implementing the hyperparameter tuning in your model. So it is like a trial and error method. You have to change the model parameters until you reach some good results and accuracy. So this is a strategy that is followed in the hyperparameter tuning. 
hyper parameter tuning is more important in unsupervised learning so take an example when you are training the k means algorithm and you don't know how many clusters to add in this case you have to change the cluster values until you get some good accuracy we already made a video about the k means clustering in our channel if you want to understand the k means clustering means you can go and watch that video okay and the fourth one is the ensemble methods this is one of the most common method which is used by every data scientist suppose if you are hearing the ensemble words for the first time so this is the explanation about the ensemble methods ensemble methods are nothing but combining the multiple trained models and, and produce a good accuracy at the end so this is the process of ensemble methods ensemble method is a winning strategy of every data scientist and machine learning engineers this can be achieved through two common methods the first one is the bagging and second one is the boosting so i'm planning to create a separate video for ensemble methods in machine learning so in that video i will explain uh, i will explain more deeply about these two techniques because so you can expect this video on next week okay and the final one is the outliers detection and anomalies outliers and anomalies are same so the outlier term explains that every data points which are present in the data set has some relations between each other if some data points are unlike to each other that points are called outliers so outliers will reduce the accuracy of the model that you trained so if you found any outliers you have to remove that first in your data set the process of removing outliers are called outlier detection or anomaly detection so why the outliers data is very harmful to the machine learning model means that data leads to the data corruption and it affects your accuracy also there are some methods and algorithms are there for identifying the outliers in the data set that are the standard deviation and interquartile range method so these two algorithms are very useful to remove the outliers from the data set so we are in the final part of this video these five methods are very important one to increase the accuracy of any machine learning model but there are a lot of methods are there to increase the accuracy other than this like cross validation and so many methods are there to increase the accuracy so we will cover those topics in coming weeks and if you like this type of videos then support this video by sharing it will help me to motivate and it will bring you more contents from my side and that's all about this video thanks for watching and thank you see you on next week Bye.